Aw yeah guys, with the recent drop of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Wave 5 trailer, it has gotten us hyped to see the brand new tracks and the new characters in the game. But what if we got more than just that? Mario Kart 8 Deluxe takes so much content from Tor already that I wouldn't be surprised if one day we got what Tor was really known for alternate costumes. So in today's video, I'm giving every character one awesome skin to be put into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. As always, let me know if you agree with my picks and feel free to share your favorite costumes that you want to see in the BCP in the comment section below. Alright, let's get on to it. Starting off with our main man, Mario. Mario has so many skins in Mario Kart Tour, it was very hard to narrow down my favorites. But after thinking about it for such a long time, I can definitely say that Builder Mario and Sunshine Mario are my absolute favorites. Builder Mario because it represents Super Mario Maker 2, and I absolutely love the unique spin on Mario just in general in this skin. Because, well, for one, he's not even wearing his iconic red hat. And the fact that he's wearing all yellow is very unique. Usually that's Wario's thing, but hey, Mario's mostly yellow here. And as well as him just like looking like he's about to tear down your house, it's just an awesome look to see. Sunshine Mario is also one of my favorites because I have some bias towards Super Mario Sunshine. It is one of my favorite Mario games in the game. And the fact that they actually added this reference where like if you talk to that Pianta in Delfino Plaza, you get this pretty much a skin. So yeah, I just love seeing him with shades and with the Hawaiian shirt. He just looks super cool. But if I were to narrow it down to just one, I'm going to probably lean towards Builder Mario because it's more modern and it definitely feels a lot more different to see compared to just the regular Mario. Like if I were to include the Sunshine Mario and then have regular Mario they pretty much look very similar the only difference here is just the shirt and the glasses so yeah all right, so moving on to his brother, Luigi. Again, he also has pretty decent amount of costumes in the game. If I were to narrow down to just one, it would definitely be Night Luigi, hands down. Night Luigi looks so cool, dude. Like, the fact that it's actually in this game is awesome. And if you guys did not know, it seems like this was a reference from Luigi's Mansion 3. You know, when back in the day when you would play in multiplayer, they actually had like different skins for Luigi. This was one of them. And I absolutely love the medieval floor in Luigi's Mansion 3. So the fact that it's here, here to stay in Mario Kart Tour and possibly for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe in the future is just absolutely a sight to see. I would include other things like Penguin Luigi or Painter Luigi, but nah, nah, just, just look at this thing. Look how polished he is. Okay, so now we are on to Peach. Peach has almost as many skins as Mario in Mario Kart Tour, so this one was also tough to decide on. But I decided the one skin I want to represent for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is Wintertime Peach. Wintertime Peach also takes reference from like the Cap Kingdom from Super Mario Odyssey, which is a really nice touch. And I just absolutely love how elegant and classy she looks over here. Even though it's not like anything super crazy, like I don't know, like the um, Explorer Peach from Mario Party 2, I just feel like this is like a different take on Peach. I've never seen her wear black or like gray before. So the fact that it's like she is wearing those colors and you know, it is again taking reference from a different game. Again, another Mario game that's from modern times is definitely a really cool pick. All right, so in terms of Daisy, this one was a lot quicker than I imagined, especially because Daisy has less skins than Peach in general. So yeah, Sailor Daisy is what I picked. I don't really like the other ones as much in Mario Kart Tour. I mean, the Yakuta Daisy is pretty cool, but I think Daisy like as a sailor form was like a lot easier and it makes more sense because with Daisy Cruiser inevitably coming to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe BCP, I mean, it definitely matches the vibe. Okay, so here we are with Rosalina. Rosalina has a decent amount of skins in the game and there's a lot Lot of good ones such as the you know the halloween rosalina the fire rosalina the swimmer rosalina but i definitely pick aurora rosalina over everything just because for one i think this represents a lot about who she is as a person i mean she's elegant um the colors are like purple and blue which reminds me of mario galaxy in general and the fact that she also is kind of like a main skin for like vancouver velocity or something just because it looks very similar it's just oh it's awesome and you guys already know how much i absolutely love vancouver velocity it is one of my favorite city tracks in mario kart tour so yeah this one was also a no-brainer all right now we got the weird characters aka tanuki mario and cat peach for tanuki mario this is just a Again, just nothing really crazy. White Tanuki Mario, it's the only skin in Mario Kart Tour. Woo, crazy. But uh, yeah, Cat Peach, this was kind of tough because there's really no technically alternate costumes for like a spin-off character already here. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna actually put Peachette over here. I think this makes the most sense because Cat Peach is already like a power-up version of Peach and Peachette is technically a power-up version of Peach too. So yeah, I mean, these kind of coincide together, right? It makes sense. 
Oh yeah, now here we are with Yoshi, and I'm so excited to tell you this one because, man, this is literally like pretty much my favorite skin in the entire series, Kangaroo Yoshi, man. He looks so cute, dude. Look, look at him. Look at him. Ah, he's so good, dude. Like, and it's also just like the best looking skin in my opinion. I mean, we got the reindeer one or like the Easter egg one, but nah, man, nah. The, this one right here is the best one. He's got like that nice Australian hat, the boxing gloves, and I just absolutely love his color. It's like a yellowish orange. It just looks so sick. He looks like he's just about to like freaking punch you in the face. Mm, mm, mm. So yeah, Kangaroo Yoshi, I would absolutely love to see him in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. For Toad, this one was also a no-brainer. Captain Toad all the way. Again, represents the modern game, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. And, um, you know, it just shows his, like, exploring side of him. You know, he has, like, light above his head. He's got all his gadgets on the side. He looks like he's ready for adventure. Koopa himself, it just only has the Koopa free-running skins. But, you know, I think to make it more, like, spiced up, I would definitely would like to include like all the characters in the actual game. You know, they also represent Mario Odyssey because Mario Odyssey has the different colors as well. So I absolutely love to see him be like how Yoshi or like Birdo or Shy Guy is already with the alternate colors, you know? So just to have like Koopa Free running green, blue, and even like the freaking gold one would be amazing to see. For Shy Guy, it was kind of tough. Like, I don't even know if I would like to have Explorer Shy Guy over Chef Shy Guy, but I think I'm gonna lean towards Chef Shy Guy because why not? He looks so cool and like, it has no reference whatsoever to anything and I just absolutely love that idea. So yeah, Chef Shy Guy all the way. I want him to make me a souffle. For Lakitu, he pretty much only has like one skin in Mario Kart Tour from my knowledge. So yeah. Party time, lack two all the way. I mean, I think this one is a really good skin for him anyway, because like he's pretty much like the host in the Mario Kart series, right? He holds down the three, two, one thing for y'all like since the beginning of time, and uh, it reminds me of like a lot of the Mario Party Eight dude, like who just like was hosting the whole entire event, and he just looks like he's that same guy over here, and it definitely fits, I think, his personality. Moving on to Toadette, this one was kind of tough. Like, I, I didn't know, like, which one to really choose. Like, I could have just been like, yo, give her just a Captain, like, Toadette treatment. But then I was like, I don't want Toadette to be the same as Toad. And then I was like, yeah, Peachette. But then, nah, that makes sense for Cat Peach. So, yeah, let's just put Astronaut Toadette here. Why the frick not? I mean, we already got the Astronaut Toads in the game. So let's just give her an Astronaut skin already, man. King Boo. This is easy. The scary looking King Boo from Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look how evil he looks. He looks so good over here. I still love this design of King Boo over like the one that we see today. So yeah, I would love to play this version. I would pretty much pick it like all the time. Okay, so moving on to the babies. The babies are pretty lame in my opinion, but hey, this is what we can work with. Baby Mario is Koala Baby Mario, don't ask. Baby Luigi, he has no freaking skin whatsoever in Mario Kart Tour yet. So yeah, let's just say it's this skin that someone decided to make that I found in Google Images. Oh yeah, summertime Baby Luigi, let's freaking go. Baby Peach, Cherub, Baby Peach, Baby Daisy. Again, I couldn't find anything about this character, so yeah. Dr. Baby Daisy, thank you fans from the community. And lastly, we have Baby Rosalina, and the only Baby Rosalina skin in Mario Kart Tour is Detective Baby Rosalina, so uh, why not? Sure. And now we get to the final versions of Mario and Peach. First, Metal Mario. For this one, I was like, what the heck could I even include? But I was like, oh, Ice Mario, duh. I mean, this was an amazing power-up in Mario Galaxy, so why not? Ice Mario, Gold Mario, Metal Mario, now they're all here. For Pink Go Peach, this was so tough because I'm like, bro, how do you get an ult for a character that already technically is an ult? You know what I'm saying? It's like the Cat Peach treatment. And I couldn't even do that because it's like, at least that one made sense. So for Pink Go Peach, let's just say, uh, Yukata Peach? I mean, Yukata Peach has like the Giga Bomb like item and it just seems like she's like stronger. I just absolutely love how her skin looks in Mario Kart Tour because it kind of represents the Ninja Hideaway aesthetic. So I'm just going to say that is my reasoning as to why, because I know Pink Gold Peach is also a heavier and faster character. So I think like the more fierce version of Peach, which is this skin can like represent as like an alternate costume. Okay, so we finally get to the villain side of things, starting off with Wario. Now, this one was kind of tough because I was either thinking of Wario as a cowboy or Hiker Wario. And I think I just decided on Hiker Wario just because, like, I played a lot of the Wario Land games. And every time I think of Wario just, like, in these games, it's just like he's an explorer or just a lot of times, like, in the forest or just in the area just, like, just hunting for things, right? So I think the Hiker represents Wario more than the cowboy one because, I don't know, I don't see Wario as a cowboy. 
Cowboy much. I just really like how he looks in hiker form as well as just the feel that I get from the character. For Waluigi though, oof, you guys already know. You already know this is my bread and butter. One of my favorite skins in the entire game. Vampire Waluigi, let him in Nintendo. I freaking now hope they add skins in the game because man, I cannot wait to play as Vampire Waluigi. Screw Bus Driver Waluigi, even though it looks so cool. I absolutely love how this one looks and I can definitely see Waluigi as a vampire with those fangs as well as just like, even if you take out his cloak, he kind of just looks like a magician, especially with that magician's hat. So yeah. I love the color scheme, I love everything all about it. Moving on to DK, who was technically a villain in the first game, so yeah, that totally counts. We have Gladiator Donkey Kong. Finally, DK has a real skin in Mario Kart Tour, not the freaking Donkey Kong Jr. one, whatever, from Super Mario Kart. So yeah, Gladiator Donkey Kong all the freaking way. This one just came out with the Night Tour. So yeah, I'm happy to see this one, hopefully to come to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe in the near future or something, because this one is amazing looking. The fact that he's holding, you know, a sword and a shield and everything, and he just looks like he's about to pass at you because y'all stole his bananas looks so amazing dude okay bowser dude definitely the doctor version just kidding i would definitely not want to be checked up by him Ugh. i would definitely probably say meowser because again super mario 3d world he was an awesome boss in that game and he just looks so cool in this one the fact that you were able to play as him in like the bowser tour was really nice and he has like the whiskers his hair just looks so cool with the different like white and red textures and even the shell is a different color i think this would like definitely look cool as like a new skin for bowser and it's definitely different from just like regular bowser versus like dry bowser and speaking of dry bowser yeah Gold Dry Bowser. Why the frick not? And you know, it's literally the only skin in Mario Kart Tour. So is Dry Bones. Dry Bones gets the same treatment. Even though I would love to see Dry Bones have a better skin, Gold Dry Bones as well. Luckily for Bowser Jr. fans, however, ho -ho, we get Pirate Bowser Jr. Hands down, even though this is literally the only other skin, I am happy about this one. I mean, bruh, do you not see his airships in Mario Galaxy? It definitely fits the vibe. And now we finally get to the Koopalings. Again, not one of my favorite characters to be put into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but whatever. The only skin that I know of that has an actual alt is the Party Time Larry skin, which still makes no sense to me. I mean, it does look pretty cool, but uh, I'm just gonna kind of scrap that idea completely because every other Koopaling doesn't have anything and I want everyone to be the same. So let's just give them Super Mario World skins. Super Mario World is like my favorite 2D Mario game of all time. And I remember seeing them a lot in this game and they just look pretty cool. I like their color schemes and everything and I think it would like fit well because we already have Donkey Kong Jr. technically for Donkey Kong. So I think this would totally make the most sense. And now we get to the DLC characters in the game. First up, the Inklings. This one's actually pretty easy. Inkling girl, Inkling boy. Just give them the Octoling variants. That's pretty much it. For Link, ah, this one was kind of tough. We already have Breath of the Wild Link. We have Skyward Sword Link. So it to me, it's between like either Twilight Princess Link or Wind Waker Link. And hear me out. I would love to see Wind Waker Link just because this one, again, is a very different looking Link. I mean, he's younger here, so it would look kind of weird for his hitbox. But I hope Nintendo can make this work because, again, he's, he's just somebody like you don't really see that often. You always hear people talk about Twilight Princess and Breath of the Wild, Skyward Sword, you know, because they're more modern games and like their older versions of Link. But hey, let's like give this version a chance. For the villagers, all right, this is gonna be kind of funny. For one though, like I will get to the boring part, Smash skins, I mean, hello, they already exist. Just give them different colored versions. Like the, for example, like the dude with like the eight ball. I mean, that's pretty cool for villager boy. And then the villager girl has like different like hair colors as well. So I guess you could like pick one of those, but <laughs> it would be so funny if for the villagers, you just pick not like the ones you play as, but like one of the actual villagers in the game that you interact with. So for example, villager boy, yo, bring my man a Paul in the game dude like it would be awesome to play as apollo as like a variant for villager boy man that would be freaking awesome for villager girl to be honest i don't really have a favorite villager in general so i'm just gonna say maybe like audi because i have her in my new horizons island and i feel like a lot of people like the wolf species so yeah let's just say screw the smash skins honestly all the way let's just put apollo and audi in it and for Isabel, even though we have her brother, let's just say screw it. Tom Nook, dude. Tom Nook would be so funny to play as. I can't imagine how his like trick animations would work. But uh, yeah, I think that would be a cool substitute for Isabel, especially since he's like the ultimate schemer. You have to pay him all the money in the world. Like it's like pretty much the exact opposite. 
And you know what? Just for fun, I'm going to include like an alternate me suit that we can add into the game. And so let's just say the Greg me suit, aka the dry bone suit, because I feel bad dry bones doesn't have any other alt in the game besides the gold one. So yeah, let's give him the Greg suit. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, so that pretty much sums up my list of giving every character one costume from Mario Kart Tour in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and be sure to drop a like if you did enjoy today's video. As of always, subscribe for more Mario Kart content before the Wiggler gets upset.